World and regional powers are calling for change in the leadership structure of the Palestinian Authority. This comes as an agreement of another ceasefire in Gaza appears to be linked to the future of managing the Palestinian enclave. Providing some of this required change, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas accepted his government's resignation this week. The U.S. wants new blood in the Palestinian Authority. They even want to change Abu Mazin, the president of the authority. There is a common understanding that the usual faces will not be able to push for change. This government's role is to establish a reconstruction plan for Gaza that should be led by this anticipated technocrat government, which is a mixture of academics and professions. The aim of that is to stay away from any political affiliations or belonging to specific factions, to achieve stability, security and agree to several ceasefire agreements, pushing Hamas aside is required. Mohammed Ashtia's government was seen as unable to manage Gaza due to Hamas's power grab in 2007. Since then, the Palestinian Armed Resistance Group and the Palestinian Authority failed to unify their lines. The U.S. and Israel want Hamas out of the picture, but regional powers believe that may not be feasible. To completely marginalize Hamas is a great mistake. Hamas is strongly present on the ground. Instead of isolating it, including it in any Palestinian administration will confine it within the framework of any governmental operation. That would be an ideal solution. The group managed Gaza for many years and therefore it knows well how to handle this territory, including security challenges. Representatives of Hamas and President Abbas's Fatah group are in Moscow this week discussing a possible agreement over the formation of the next government. No one will be able to manage Gaza, however, as long as the war there continues. 88-year-old Palestinian President Abbas has for now shifted the focus from a full change of leadership to naming the next cabinet and help it get approval from Hamas to run Gaza. The move is maybe to appease Western demands for change of the Palestinian Authority. Regional powers have been for long urging all Palestinians to unite behind one government that could not only manage the entire occupied territories, but could also lead possible peace negotiations. Adel Mahoui, DGTN, Cairo.